Well, hello. For my 50th year of life, my sons and I decided about 10 years ago that we would go to New York City for my 50th birthday. We did that this past May. It was fabulous, loved it. But one thing that didn't happen was we wanted to see Jimmy Fallon. We, didn't, we weren't able to get his tickets. So for my 50th birthday party, I decided I was gonna bring Jimmy Fallon here. I'm gonna be his fill-in for one of his favorite skits that, he, that I enjoy on his show. It's called Thank You Notes. So there's a couple people that I wanna thank that were probably brave enough to either speak tonight at my roast or just ones I just wanna say thanks to and give a shout out to. The first one I'll start with, it's my Aunt Joanne. I have my favorite photo of my Aunt Joanne that was in one of my bedrooms in my granny's house. We couldn't find that photo, but I think I found a photo that was close to what Aunt Joanne looked like in this photo that I remember when she was a teenager in high school. Aunt Joanne, I wanna thank you for showing me the art of private investigating. I too have looked through my kids' trash to see what they've been up to, just like you did when you looked through Kevin's trash and you found some empty wine cooler bottles. So thank you, Aunt Jo, for giving me my first tip on private investigating. The next thank you note, I would like to thank my mom. Mom, I appreciate that you showed me how to lie to your children. You told me when I was about six years old that you were a net Funicello off of the Mickey Mouse Mouseketeer show. I really bought it hook, line, and sinker. I believed it so much, I went back to my elementary school, told all of my friends in my class that my mom was the famous Mouseketeer. So I took that art when I became a mom and told my kids I was somebody a little bit cooler. I was Wonder Woman. I had them so convinced, I even told them we had an invisible jet out back. So mom, thanks for teaching me how to lie to my kids. My next thank you note goes out to my favorite brother, Sean. I wanna thank you for helping me fine tune my prank skills. Some of my fellow teachers have been part of those pranks and they wanna thank you too. So the prank that I most remember when we were little and I'm sure you can't forget, it was Bubba. Bubba from the Dark Knight of the Scarecrow TV show. <laughs> it was hysterical. He screamed just like a little girl. So thank you, Sean, for helping me be a good prankster. All right, my next thank you note goes out to my aunts. I want to thank you for teaching me the art of dressing alike at family functions. You've tried to include me in some of those family function dress alike opportunities. I appreciate it. So I'm going to show you one of my favorite dress alike family function outfits that you had. You all are definitely my fashionistas. Love it. Thank you. I'd like to thank my dad. You've always helped me with problem solving tips. One of the best problem solving tips you gave was when I was little and I was out with you and I got bubble gum in my hair. Your problem solving tip for that, because we didn't want mom to know, it was cutting the bubble gum out of my hair and then pulling the remaining hair that I had over it so we could try to fool mom. So dad, thank you for showing me those problem solving tips. Thank you, Lisa Sizemore for being more straightforward than I have been known to be. Especially liked when we had a teacher's meeting about a year ago and you told our new principal and our latest staff, here's the clean version of it, that we were a bunch of witches. Oh, those fun memories, Lisa. Thank you. Thank you, Valerie Wynn. I wanna thank you for teaching me and my children the art of puppets. I lie awake at night Look, thinking and remembering my sons imitating you and your puppetry skills. Thank you, Valerie. Love the puppets. All right, I'd like to thank my cousin Christopher. I loved it, and I want to thank you when you invited us to go see a play with your sister, your brother-in-law, and your saintly mother. The opening scene started out of this play, and it began with an orgy scene. And all I kept telling myself was, please look just straight ahead. Don't look at my Aunt Linda. So thank you, Chris, for, for those fond memories. Thank you, Janie, my favorite sister-in-law, for showing me that beauty truly comes from within. Thanks for being so beautiful. My next thank you, I'd like to thank the Mayfield Steel Magnolias. I'd like you to thank you for showing me how a group of intelligent women from different backgrounds can be so stupid together. Thank you.
you, Melissa Gross, my friend. Thank you for making me laugh at each adventure that we try. You inspire me to look foolish, yet stylish, as this picture shows. All right, finally, I'd like to thank Luke, Micah, and Lauren. Thank you for letting me pretend I know all the answers to all your problems. You have helped me to have a future political career. I think I will make a great political candidate with all my fake knowledge.